opened, finally opened in 1998, and um, it was slow moving at that time. Wasn't even thinking about pie at the time. I just reopened the family business. Uh, small grocery store with uh, a deli. So we, um, as time went on, the pies became popular. I just started baking one or two pies a day just to have desserts. And uh, they took off. And like I said back then, I wasn't using my own crust. I was buying crust. And so I thought since the pies started selling so well that I should start making my own crust. So I started that, I started tweaking cookbooks and just finding recipes and we actually started out that way. Um, years went on and we just moved along very slowly. Um, we had a few regular customers coming in here and there, but um, the business did not take off until uh, 2012 when a Southern Living reporter came by. And she, um, the next year we were in Southern Living and she was quoted as to say, and it was the best apple pie ever, which I still just go, <laughs> that is just uh, really something. So we started uh, really doing well at that point, more than we could do because we're such a small business. Um, as time went on, we just uh, tried to make small changes. Um, we were actually in the house I grew up in. Um, we had a storefront upstairs we lived, and um, it's gone full circle now. My husband and I live upstairs now. So we um, just love what we're doing. We've had a lot of help over the years, and um, we've just been so blessed to be in, you know, so many uh, magazine articles and um, on TV. Um, my mother has a lot to do with that. She is uh, such a blessing, and she greets people as they come in. And she's just a real, she's a joy to be around. So. Um, here we are, and um, we've got a lot of connection with UVA. My niece and nephew both graduated from UVA, and um, we're just glad we can help with this. Yeah, I was born in Amherst County 100 years ago. I'm 100 years old. Yeah. I started the business. Okay, yeah. What year was it, Angie? It was 1952, but I started in 1998, and you helped me bake sweet potato pie. Yeah, yeah, but it's in the Yeah, we started out. Uh, in the 50s. Yeah, so. And we, that's the biggest thing I do make. I get the boxes printed. We get the boxes printed. We've been around here a long time. I, my husband built this little place and we ran it. I ran it, I guess, for 30 years. Then I turned it over to Angela. Angela being here. She sells a lot of pies. And your big five. Awesome. We see you have a letter from Obama. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, from Obama. Uh, he's been here. Yeah, he's been around. Hi, I'm Angie, and um, this is my pie shop, and mm -hmm. I'm going to show you guys how to make an apple pie today. And what I'm going to do is uh, just show you mm -hmm. from start to finish. Although I cannot reveal my secret vices. We already have these uh, measured out and you can use your own um, but this is the way we do it. We have our um, our apples we get from the local orchard and um, we put our spices on top and mix that up and get that really good mix there. You want to use an apple that's good for cooking. Um, we use whatever the orchard has most of the time, but it it's good to have an apple that's a cooking apple. And they can tell you there, um, you know, at the orchard or wherever you go, that you know whatever is good to use for a um, apple pie. All right, get that good mixed in there. Of course, we're used to having a big bowl with great, a lot of apples and a lot of crust and everything, but I'm going to show you just how to make this one. So you get that all good and mixed there. And this is our pie crust we've already rolled out. We don't use a lot of flour. We roll our crust in between two sheets of plastic. It just seems to work a little better for us.
And of course, you can use whatever you know pie crust recipe you like. But a lot of people just buy their crust, which I was doing for a long time, honestly, <laughs> before I started making my own. So in the beginning, I started uh, just looking in cookbooks and finding recipes that, you know, um, I liked and I just tweaked them a little bit. This is an old recipe from a really old cookbook that I, and like I said, I, once I started baking, you know, a, quite a bit, I started using my own, you know, little tweaks and all when it came to recipe books. But my aunt was a baker, and so she gave me a lot of cookbooks and I just started from there. And actually, when you're making a double crust pie, you don't have to do all that, but we're so used to crimping those edges like that, it does make for a pretty pie, but well, that's it's a double awesome. crust. <laughs> awesome. You made it look so simple. <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing it a long, long time, so. All right, then the apples go in. Most recipes call for six cups of apples. Um, it depends upon how big your crust is, but you can use, uh, most of them will only fit four. So I think this is four cups of apples. And um, Which is how many apples? Uh, that's about, Probably about four apples. Four apples. I would think four nice size, you know, pretty nice size apples. All right, so then we just dot the pie with butter, and you can do that to your, you know, however much you would like to put. We use a lot of butter. <laughs> <laughs> and this one goes on top. And you do the same thing to this one as you did to the bottom. I think having things home handmade are you know really important. Um, you know, a lot of people use uh, family recipes and things like that. I think it's so nice, especially during this time of year and Thanksgiving is coming up and you can say that you used your grandma's recipe or you know, something like that. It's, it's really important, I think. Or you can go to Sam's or Costco. I mean... <laughs> How many pies do you think you do in a day? Um, it varies. Um, usually... I'm thinking on an average day between 25 and 35. Okay. Um, weekends, we've gone up to we've gone up to 75, but on a normal Saturday, it's about 60 pies on a Saturday, so it doubles on Saturdays. Yeah. So then we want to cut slits uh, so the steam can escape and your apples can cook uh, really beautifully. And normally I dust it with milk. <laughs> Uh, or egg wash, either one uh, would be good. And you just put a little on there and don't put it to the ends. You don't want your ends to brown too fast. So you just put this on top. This makes a really pretty, pretty pie. All right, there's your egg wash. And then we sprinkle it with a little sugar. Preparation is key as holiday season coming yeah. in. Are, yeah. you, are you getting a lot of orders for Thanksgiving? We are. They've started already. We um, The last few years we've had to turn down orders because we just can't make that many. Yeah. But yeah. Um, hopefully with our new machine we'll be able to. <laughs> <laughs> so this goes in the oven at 350 for about an hour. <laughs> It's a story. 
And when people come here, it's nostalgic, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like they feel this. This is a, this is a story yeah. of family history. And as an employee, when you walk in here, you can feel it. All of this is their family's land. It's a story, and it's, yeah. just, it's so much more than pie. And when you taste the pie, you can feel that as well, you know? For me, it's like I want to make sure that story is there, that experience is yeah. there, mm -hmm. you know? And I, I wouldn't want to take it and yeah. strip that from the family and yeah. make it so broad that it's like, yeah. What's special about this, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So I think that's I think that's that's Angela's story. That's her. That's the beauty of this business and her mother still living and blessing us every day with just her presence, her, her presence and her stories. You yeah. know, you know, yeah. her, you know. So it's just I think that's a big part of it. Yeah. You know.